I highly recommend you take a look at purchasing the whole DVD, all four hours worth, and learn even more about tying the fly, selecting leaders, and everything there needs to be to get to be a more proficient nymph fisherman. Then join us for Streamer Fishing for Trophy Trout with my friend Kelly Gallup and learn about how to catch big fish on streamers. Going a little deeper. Nice, well done. Now we're coming up behind a rock, a very good spot. You're going to work the edge of the current. This is again where a European method is very effective. Heavy water, get difficult, oh, looks like the fly change. He's going to go to a heavier fly to get it down deeper. He worked his way up a shallow area to get into the deeper pocket, and now he's going to make the change to fly. You don't see any fish here. Surprise! My worm fly. Ah, worm fly is good. We're going to go to a pretty deep pool that would be very difficult to fish with an indicator. One you'd get somewhat of success, but probably not as much as if you'd learn this technique. Now, Vladdy, uh, it's really important how you hold your rod to control the depth of the fly and how fast you pull it, right? Yes. Uh, when I cast, you know, to the pool like this, to deep water, fast water, like rapids, I try to, to put my flies to the bottom, especially the anchor fly. Right. And then I try to move both flies a little bit faster than current. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you know, Every insect, when they come from the bottom, they are a little bit faster. They propel but, themselves, yeah. either like caddis will repair themselves, and mayflies will yes, swim, they move some will just faster. drift up to yes. the surface so they can they, hatch. Yes, yeah, they can hatch. And then I move my, my flies a little bit faster than current. And on the end, try to set a little bit faster, you know, but this is a very short movement and this movement Im can um, imitate mm -hmm. imitates. Uh, he imitates uh, the movement of the insects. 
Actually, so you're it's keeping very it. Very important. Now, I think this is important for all of you out there to understand. You're really not pulling. You think you might be pulling it fast in the current, but really what you're doing is keeping your line tight so that you feel a fish strike. Mm -hmm. Within an indicator, you don't know where your fly is. Here, you know how your fly is moving because you're the one controlling it. And every time I watch this man fish, I learn something new. So let's go show us uh, a little bit about that. I'm going to okay. wander out with you. But let me talk to you about another thing, too. This is not something your buddy hangs next to you. You don't do that. You do it by yourself. You get down low in a lot of places. You crawl. It's not a buddy system, is it? Yeah, but you know, some fish are... Uh, uh but in shallow water, and see you immediately. Right. You know, I try to be always on the, uh, not when the sun is uh, going to my face, I try to be like that. The fish don't see the shadow. Right. The, fish, the shadow, you know. Again, you can see a little bit different water in this part. He's casting upstream again, immediate contact with the line. Look at the rod. He's following the rod. Watch the line. Looks like he might have had a little bump right there. A little higher rod, letting it get deeper. He's gonna, he's gonna pull it now just slightly. Again, watch the rod tip. Very important to see where this line is. It's between that middle finger. Again, he's following it down. The faster the water, many times the shorter the pull or the stroke almost, the way that he's working this. Now, see how he's extending his arm? Rod tip goes lower to the water. He's actually bumping right on the bottom. You can see the line, how it was jumping. Look how it's jumping. He's, we're gonna extend the drift by actually leaning the rod tip and the whole rod into the water. Again, keeping in contact, watch this. He's gonna then tilt the rod down, extend the arm, and increase the drift. Now, the next cast, he's going to keep it high. As you can see right here, it, again, it's at a different water level. There's, you want to vary your drifts. Some in tight to the water, some a little higher, some a little quicker, some a little slower. Now, Vladdy, let me ask you, what are you, what are you trying to feel here? What do you I feel? I feel immediately when like you says, I, I control all the time flies. I right. have contact with the flies. You feel the fly through any the Any touch I feel immediately here. Any touch. Any and the touch. thing is that sometimes I, I feel bottom. I feel everything on, what is on the bottom. But you're also watching that line too. Yeah, but, but you know, uh, I watch line because sometimes line is Straight. It goes in, could that mean Proceed. something has happened? That's yeah, connection. Yeah, something is connection. Yeah. You're using all your senses, aren't you? You're using the feel yeah. uh, from the line. And, and your eyes. And my eyes. And then and also the you're using something else. Yeah. Which right up that's here. That's true. <laughs> you just know there's a fish there, and I'm yeah, going to set it because it should be there, right? Yeah, yeah that's true. You must uh, re, uh, reach water. Right, yeah. read water. Uh, read water. If you fish with, uh, with this method. You don't fish water, there isn't going to be a fish in, are you? <laughs> but you must always think, it's never, never like this, you can come to water and bark and fish, no. Okay, now, we fish this pretty carefully. Yeah. What would you fish it any different? We've tried, you know, five yeah. or six casts. I try to be a little bit... Up in there? Up okay, in there. let's do that. Let's do that. Because Walk I up think the, the fly is going to deeper. Right. About... Each current is going to dictate how you move yes. that line. That's, I agree the with you. The number one problem that I see when I see people first learn this, they cast and they don't immediately start pulling the line. That is a hard thing for most anglers in America to understand. The minute that line hits, you're going to be in contact. Immediately you must have contact. Sometimes you, you can cast and immediately you have fish. You feel like immediately. Immediately, because always fish watching, you know, something in the water. Now, how would you fish that rift over there? Where the, you see where that? The... You see the is a V over mm -hmm. there. I try to cast up. Well, show me. Come on, just show me. Let's get. Okay. We'll go real slow. I don't want to go swimming. It's the end yeah. of the day, and 
see, I got tried to be in V. Ooh, that looked pretty good. You see? A little. But I would and definitely I want to be where that edge is, because those fish are going to lay in there, aren't yeah, they? Yes, too. Well, I thought you had one there. Maybe. I don't think so. There's too many fish here, but who knows? Now, would you think? Try to be near the near the stones, very close to the to the rock here, to the stone here. Notice how the rod is lower. Going like this. And you're going, it's going right under the rock. Because always, always I'm under the, in the bottom and the rock could right. be cold. The current is actually taking and pulling the fly into the rock. And he's allowing that to happen with the swing of the rod. Uh, see. Ooh. That's where Mr. Big Brown Trout would be laying. Yes. Okay, now what about the tail of the pool here? If we don't get anything yeah, here, yeah, would you we fish go, the tail? We go down. Okay, no, we're gonna go down and fish the tail. I know now where they are. 